Okay, we're now going to finish the last one in the blue slice. Tree diagrams for conditional probability. So let's tackle it. This is, by all uh, calculations here, the most involved problem in the probability slice. And Alex has gone over the top with this one. If you go ahead and uh, print out Alex's explanation for this, you will find that the explanation, if you click here, runs six pages. So you will burn up a quite large portion of your printer account if you print that all out. And then they go into a, an extremely long explanation of everything here. And they're going to tell uh, quite a long story. So maybe we ought to read through a little of this. Uh, but I can tell you a shortcut here. You really don't have to read any of it. But it's kind of fun to see what we're going to do here. So let's read it. A uh, recent evening at the small old time movie theater, 30% of the moviegoers were female and 70% were male. Okay, so we can kind of see here that we set this up in this diagram. Okay, so we can see over here, uh, probability of female is 30%. And obviously down here we have not female, so in other words, male. And so obviously here, these two values have to add up to one because you're going to have 30% females, therefore one minus 0.3 is 0.7. So we're gonna have 70% males. Now, what's going to happen next here is of the females that go into the theater, it's one of these old time theaters, they only have two theaters. They either have the option of going to one of two movies. Uh, one of these movies is a romantic comedy, which they're going to code that uh, R, and the other is a, a World War II film. Okay, or a war film, obviously that is not a romantic comedy. So they're using those codes here to keep that straight. So what we find there is that of the females going in there, 30% uh, of them go to the war film the action film, but 70% of the girls would rather go to the romantic comedy. Now, once again, notice that these two numbers here on the branch have to add up to one. So if 30% of them go to the war film, that means 70% have to go here. So once again, at these branches, we must make that add up to one. And so that brings us basically to the first of our rules. Let's go over here and take a look at this. Okay. We can begin to make some rules here. At each branch point, the probabilities must add up to 1 or 1.0 or 1.000, depending on how much precision they give us in the problem. So each time we get to a branch in the road, uh, we have to make sure that these probabilities add up. So as we've uh, seen so far here, We've had the branch here make the first decision, male or female. Okay, 30% were female, so 70% of the movie attendees must be male. Now, of these 30%, of all of the females, in fact, then we say that 70% of the females uh, would rather go to the uh, chick flick, basically, and 30% of them would then go to the action movie. Okay, now moving down to the other part. Now let's talk about the males. Now of the males, okay, we see here that 50% of them would uh, rather go to the action movie, but if 50% of them go down this branch, then that means that 50% of them must have gone here too, because remember the rule is at a branch point, the two probabilities must add up to one. So we can put this in at 0 0.5, and we're getting along well with our chart. Now, let's go down through the branches, and let's look at what we have here. So if we go down this branch, and we go down this branch, 
notice what that's saying here is that we've got a female and her choice is to go to the romantic comedy. So what is the chance then that uh, this person coming down this branch is, is going to end up over here? Well, what we can say here is this is just the and situation the probability that we're going to have a female and attending the romantic comedy in the and situation we multiply so this gives us our second rule multiply down the branches so just go down the branches and multiply your probabilities 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 is 0 0.21 and so basically what that says is that uh, this first box is going to be 0 0.21 Follow down through all those other branches and do the same thing. So come down this branch and this branch. So that's going to be a 0.3 and a 0.3. When you have an and, you multiply 0.3 times 0.3 is 0.09. Okay. Going down the other branches. Now, we don't even really have to think about what they represent. We simply go down the branches and multiply. So 0.7 times 0.5 is going to be 0.35 and going down the other branch now we're going to have a 0.7 times a 0.5 and that's going to be a 0.35 and so we have all of our uh, probabilities over here but now we have to answer the question so now we get to the final question what is the probability that a randomly chosen moviegoer attended the romantic comedy so what is that chance going to be? So let's go back up here once again. And we do have to kind of read this closely here and look at our symbols. But notice here, R denotes the event that a randomly chosen moviegoer attends the romantic comedy. So R stands for romantic. So what we want to do then is to go down and look only, only at this last letter in each of these. Now look for the R's, like here's an R, but there's a not R, and there's an R, there's a not R. Only the R's, because these are the ones that are going to rom attend the romantic comedy that are females. These are the ones that are going to attend the romantic comedy that are males. But what we want is either or, male or female, that attended the romantic comedy. So we want to use the addition rule, and we want to add together this one and this one or 0.21 and 0.35. So we grab for our calculator 0.21 plus 0.35. That turns out to be 0.56. And so we see overall then that 56% of the movie moviegoers go to the romantic comedy. And we will see here that these tree diagrams are not as bad as they look.